Welcome. So this is just a quick demo of the finished product from this blog post on demand test environments with Docker and AWS ECS. Essentially, we'll be using Docker and AWS ECS, which is Amazon's container orchestration service to deploy six microservices. And you can see the microservices here. So we have our React web app, we have a backend movies API, our database, our API documentation with Swagger, we have our then our users API and our users DB. And then I'm also using Test Cafe for functional end-to-end -end testing, and this is actually not containerized. So let's take a quick look at the development workflow. We've already created a feature branch and made some cone changes. We'll go ahead and push the changes to GitHub. So this will trigger a new build on CircleCI, which we can take a look at. So essentially the containers will be spun up and the test will run, and if the build passes, a series of deployment scripts will fire, which sets up a number of resources on AWS and spins up the environment with a unique URL based on an open port. All right, so the build passed, and it looks like the deploy was successful. So then if I refresh this, see that we have three running tasks here. If I go to the management console for the load balancer, you see there's a new listener was added on a new port. Target groups were also spun up, which should have healthy targets. It's healthy, healthy, and healthy. So now I can grab the DNS for the load balancer. Navigate to that URL. I can test logging in. Well, we can test like searching for a movie. As well as logging out. And we can also run the end to end tests. So if I grab this URL and then open up Atom, and if I just replace, that URL with the URL that is up on AWS, now I can just run my tests. Nothing too spectacular there, but the test did run against the environment on AWS. So finally, when we're done testing, we can bring down all the AWS resources using this teardown script that you'll be creating as well. So this will take the port that the listener is on. So that was, so that was ports, what, 30,000? And then So now if we hop back to AWS, see the listener was removed, the target groups were removed, and if we refresh this, there are zero services and the tasks are currently being spun down. All right, that's it. Well, thanks for watching.